Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld Prison Empire. So in the last episode we got ourselves a couple new prisoners. Uh, we have Jasmine and Mr. Spanx. And uh, other than that, uh, you know, we've been just collecting stuff and expanding. We got crops that need, I think these are all ready to go. Uh, this is almost ready by the time we get this dealt with. That will be ready to go to get harvested as well. Uh, we're also going to, even though it's probably not good time-wise, uh, we're going to try for another round of rice because, you know, It'd be nice to stock up on as much food as possible before winter comes. Uh, but we are in a position where we are ready to start uh, building a prison workshop. That way we can ensure our prisoners are busy and, you know, productive. Because if they're not, then they're going to have to find a new way to be productive in terms of, you know, being turned into food or organs or whatever. We'll see. But I, I think that we, I think the threats are enough to encourage them to keep busy. Uh, other than that, we do have our uh, medicine room for our leaders, our colonists or actual colonists uh getting built right here we do need to get a roof on it actually speaking of roof uh what we need is to fix this because it is obviously was set to not get done no, i cannot but that's fine uh so we're gonna get that up and running um one other thing that i do want to do since our prisoners are this uh door is gonna get unlocked that way they can come out and do stuff for us uh, obviously they can't get anywhere else but we do need to make it so some of the resources are available that way they can assist with building and whatever else that we tell them to do uh, so we're gonna have to open this up or make a small storage room for the resources because obviously we don't want them to come in here we have weapons <laughs> uh, so yeah we definitely we gotta, we gotta be careful on what is allowed along with that we're going to like I said uh, get the workshop up and running but I do also want to get a food production area up and running because uh, just make sure I'm talking about the right people. Yes, uh, Mr. Spanx is going to be only cooking. It's going to be locked in a room. I'm sorry, I'm going to move. Get out of here. Move a can because I could hear my voice reverberating through it and it drives me nuts having that echo. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Mr. Spanx is going to be essentially locked in a room and the only job that he is going to be doing is cooking and also... Uh, doing research when there's no cooking to be done but we have to make a new bench for that uh other than that i think that's about it oh i did uh, look through research and i found the medicine bag which we will get eventually obviously right now we're working on getting communication up and running and then geothermal so we have a more reliable power source uh but yeah we are going to be getting this so we can do some field medic work because it definitely would be nice to uh not have prisoners die as we try to bring them into our prison so um People are healing, obviously. I do want to clean some stuff up. This is now open. Um, really, Jasmine? Really? Uh, what, what's your issue? Unsightly environment. Uh, well, you know what happens. Uh, who wants to do a smashing? Um, who's actually not doing anything? Where? Where's Zuko? Oh, okay, well, Zuko's already outside. Um, actually, Elizan is cooking. Let's get Zuko to come in. Uh, and you could actually, I should have let him actually bring this wood in, but it's fine. So you could come in, although Jasmine will probably drop. Just make sure. Chaos, where are you going? You are cleaning dirt. That is all right. Um, can you? Uh, you've already knocked someone down. We're just going to beat you. You are not allowed to be a dick. Okay, there you go. Oh, we should also. Uh, I don't want to capture. Uh, it's come to an end. We just want to do taking to bed, not capturing. Although, is there a difference? Because it's just recapturing, which should be the same. And then we also are going to have Leo doing tending. So they're going to patch up the most basic of injuries. And Elizan also came in to assist. Ah, okay, there we go. And you guys didn't... Holy damage. <laughs> you guys didn't do any permanent damage, right? Nah, you're fine. Okay, so that's all under control. Um... So, the most important thing I'd like to do is get the the workshop area dealt with first. Um, let's switch back to a gun. Uh, because if we get the workshop area up and running, then we can have our prisoners producing jumpsuits. So that way we can better identify them and they can, you know, have their jumpsuits. Uh, so, we can turn this on and figure out where our overhead mountain is so we can try to avoid it. Um, we can also... Okay, so we have an overhead mountain there. And I really wish I could see a little bit further in. Uh, so it might actually be better to just start mining some area out. That way we can better see what we're working with over here. 
Uh, there is no mountain there, so we can get rid of that and that. Uh, we can get rid of this tile and then put a wall there, which would be a non-issue. We just have to make sure the wall's there. But, but damn it, we got a psychic drone. Uh, icky testicles. Whatever. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll leave this for now, but once we get our walls in, it'll get replaced. And then, obviously, we won't be able to make much more distance in here. But we are going to want a... It's one of those days. <laughs> so we have a group of tribespeople from the Camtronio of the Sound. Um, okay. And we have three. And they're all melee and naked. So, uh, for now, we don't need that on. Um, so that should be pretty easy. We don't even have to go outside our walls. So you guys, could you uh, come in and just, uh, you know, stand behind the fence and pick them off? And are they coming? Oh, I'm, I need to get Archiver. I know that I can check, you know, messages here and here. There's just so many more clicks and they're attacking immediately. Okay, that's the information I wanted. Okay, so yeah, this should be a non-issue because they're going to have to get through the, the defenses, if you want to call them that. We should be okay. That one might be a problem. Okay, so we have one down, two down, and then you're going to try to escape. Uh, we don't really have a lot of extra room for prisoners, but uh, we can take them anyway because uh, there's no downside in it. So we'll try to catch up. You should be a bit slower. Oh yeah, we're much quicker. Okay, come. Get some shots. And melee. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's okay, we got some food. I'm okay with that. Uh, so we're going to want to pick that up, pick that up. How is our bleed rate? Six hours? Six hours. Ooh, that was some missing body parts. So that's rib and rib. Um, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. So we are going to capture you. And we are going to capture you. And then we're also going to want to bring you in before you rot. That way we could, you know, turn you into dinner. Okay, so there we go. That's good. We don't need that or that. And that is getting mined. We're also going to want to start uh, mining through down here as well as much as we can. That way we can get our cook area up and running. And we're just going to expand off this a little bit. It doesn't need to be big. It just it needs to be big enough. Uh, and why did you just drop off food right there? I do not know, but it wasn't right. Um, Zuko, did you capture? Oh, we don't have room. Okay. Uh, that's an easy fix. Can you get off my screen, please? Uh, so we can just throw a, no, a new bed down there. Or uh, not so much a bed, a sleeping spot. And then we'll try to get this patched up as quickly as possible. And then uh, that's supposed to be for nutrient paste. That's allowed. Uh, so we can also set these to get hauled. That uh, we'll end up moving this after. So for now, that's okay right there. And then we'll once we get our workshop up and running, we'll uh, adjust this. But that's all fine. So you guys are going to get the patching done. And we'll see if they all survive. If not, whatever. Uh, so Chaos is currently doing cleaning. Do we want Chaos doing cleaning uh, before the research? Or should we get someone else to dedicate cleaning? Uh, because we do have Jasmine that isn't particularly useful at anything. And would probably be a better cleaning option. So we'll allow research first, Jasmine will do the cleaning, and if Chaos has no cleaning to do, then Chaos could do... Uh, sorry, if Chaos has no research to do, then Chaos will do cleaning. Alright, that should be good. Uh, and then we check it out. Okay, so that's all overhead mountain there too. So that's going to be where our wall is, if we want to try to avoid, uh, you know, <sighs> encouraging bug spawning. Because <laughs> we definitely don't want that. Uh, and you're cleaning dirt. Uh, we also are going to have to tell these what to do. Oh, before we do that, we also got to make sure, and that would be under numbers. I'm going to set up prisoners. All of you are paste eaters. Because I forgot to look up if there's a way to uh, default that without grabbing a new mod for it. But uh, these seem to be working okay. Uh, Berserk. Oh my god, you guys are so angry. Low psychic drone. Yeah. Uh, I would prefer if you didn't shoot. Um, can you just go in melee, please? And what are you up to? You're just berserking. Oh, that did not take much. Uh, so you could just do a capture again. I think people are going to get their ass beat constantly. If they want to be angry like that, they're going to have to uh, deal with the consequences of it. Sucks to be them. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we can also get that cleaned out a little bit. People will get it done. 
Uh, and then in here we do need now obviously silver tile uh, no sterile tile rather would be the best option for our medical room uh we don't have that available so we're just gonna go with a nice you know sanitary wood floor <laughs> and then it, we might give a wood floor in here mostly because uh if we end up having infections uh you know it just makes it harder to deal with i don't care if they're living in the dirt but it's if it's going to cause us more work long term, then holy Eliza, and you are quick. No, you're not. Just quicker than everyone else. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's all good. Uh, no longer capable of walking. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, and we also need to set up uh, work. Uh, so we need to, whoops, copy, paste, and paste. So that's two new prisoners ready to go. Uh, except for in here. So you guys are obviously going to be doing... Here, you know, we can go like that to ensure number one. Uh, minor break. Uh, we do not need you doctoring your kind of shit. And we don't, you know... If we're going to have our prisoners trying to patch wounds, it may as well be people that are somewhat competent. Uh, we don't need that. Actually, you know what? Let's turn that on max. Because if we tell them to haul shit, uh, they may as well. Okay. Uh, except for... Uh, Chaos can do it too. Uh, and we don't need basic, we don't need finish, we don't need anyone else doing cooking, uh, no hunting. Uh, construction we can allow. If there's construction within your area, the prisoners can do it. Uh, you Actually, you're capable of that as well. Uh, you are capable of growing, so that's definitely a good idea. So we'll have that as a two there. Uh, quarrying and mining. Oh, actually, you are capable. And uh, even though, yeah, you know what, we'll still do the names at the end of the episode. Even though they came in right at the beginning, um, we'll we'll have it still the end of the episode rule because you know they could still die and I'd like to give you know actual people with names a chance. Uh, and then after that, you can do a three for prison. Uh, you can do a two for uh, sorry a one for plant cutting since that's partly growing and you don't need to do that either. And I can't actually see. Uh, yeah, you know what? That could stay as three, and then that could be a. Ah, fuck it. Those could stay three as well. Okay. And we need a hunter needs a weapon, so we can switch back to that. Okay. So that is good. Uh, we do need to get the mining continued again. So let's set that up. Oh, whoops. Mining. Uh, so that is able to get mined. This is actually not a great area for trying to get shit done. Um, we can dig that out a little bit. Dig that out a little bit. We'll have to work with uh, this whole corner piece. That can go, that can go. And we can work a little bit back here, but that's probably a silly thing. But that's fine. Uh, and then over here is already getting done. Uh, actually, we could dig out that section as well. So we're only going to really need this going to about here. We'll do a wood wall right across here. Uh, is down, as much down as we can. And uh, Mr. Spanks is most likely going to need some proper clothing. Because we'll probably just have that area cold as shit all the time. And they're going to spend... Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I was, I was thinking we could just have the whole thing a freezer constantly. Uh, but that might cause some longer term issues that I don't really want to deal with the consequences of. Like uh, constant frostbite. And sleeping in cold. Because even though I'm not too worried about that, it is unnecessary torture that, well, you know, whatever. It's more so we have to deal with it. Uh, but we're good. Uh, we do need to get this growing done we need to get all this harvested so we could replant um so who wants to do that uh first who was our that was under work who was doing growing uh that is mosquito and mosquito is down so what we can do zuko what are you up to you're hauling can you come and harvest this please try to get this brought in all right and then oh jasmine's up what are you up to now you are resting. Cleaning rock rubble. Wait. Oh, sorry, it's Mosquito. And Jasmine. Okay, so you are... What else can we get you doing? Well, everyone is going to be allowed to quarry at minimum. Obviously, we don't have quarrying, but we could get the mining done too. Uh, we will turn mining off eventually because we don't want people mining. Well, there's, once we get rid of this steel over here, there's not going to be anything else to mine. But at least we could get some assistance with this. Uh, we can also set up a remove roof area, so we don't worry. Have to worry. Uh, words. So we don't have to worry about collapses. Really, mosquito, you just got up. 
Um, Zuko, can you come and... Uh, it was interrupted. Oh, force work was interrupted. Do you want to get calmed down? Oh, no, no. Please don't. You can stand here on standby. Just give us a sec. Okay. And you're down. <laughs> it's all fine. It sure doesn't take much when everyone's at the brink of death constantly. It doesn't take much to calm them down with, uh, you know, a little bit of a beating. So that's all fine again. All right. And, uh, Elizen, can you come and, uh, get these crops dealt with, please? Somebody has to. And all that's going to have to get brought in as well. Uh, and there we go. All right, good stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Chaos. D oh, wow. Actually, you're going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, can we already calming? I will allow you to attempt to calm down chaos. No, you're just going to beat the shit out of chaos? Okay. Okay. Uh, how are you looking? You already... All right. Well, there we go. Uh, dinner. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Sorry about that chaos, but uh, whatever. Wow. I, I, I do want to see what the point... Well, actually, you know what? We can see... No, we can't see. So, we have our first prisoner death. It really sucks because we could have used you as uh, the research slave, but shit happened. So, that was... Torso exploded. We need to get ourselves some uh, stun guns. That would be of great help. Um, if we get communication, we could probably buy one, but as of right now, we don't really have a way to do that. What we should probably do is be using our fists and not a club, but I was thinking a club would actually be a good way to inflict quite a bit of damage without absolutely obliterating people. I was wrong. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, uh, we should get ourselves... They're not ideal, but we could get ourselves quote-unquote medical beds up and running. That way, if we do need to have somewhere to, you know, lay down and rest up a little bit, uh, we have that available. All right. There we go. Um, Zuko, what are you up to? You are feeding. Um, can you instead... No, don't clean. Why can't we... Here, harvest this. Um, Elizen, can you... You're going for a walk. Can you also assist with this harvesting? Get this shit done? I know it's not cold yet, but I do want to get that... Intense pain. Oh, I wonder why. Wow. Oh, oh, you're already done. That didn't take much. Oh, and you got yourself. Okay. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Just some minor complications. Uh, for the sake of not having to deal with them breaking as often, let's try to make this slightly more livable. Okay, that's not going to mean anything anytime soon. A mosquito got food poisoning. That is just fine. Major break. Zuko, what can we do for ya? Uh, you are being forced. Go do what you need to do. Sorry about that. There you go. Feeling much better already. Oh, you also are hungry. Okay. Sorry about that, Elizen. You should be fine now. Ooh, we do have a timber wolf hanging around our door. That is not something we want. We can... Uh, we should be okay. We might have to go out and kill it just for uh, safety reasons. Um, we can also... We don't need to hunt just yet. We do have quite a bit of food sitting around for now. So we don't need to switch out of melee. You guys can just have it ready. Okay, and Leo is working through all our blocks. That's good. Okay, so uh, a bunch of this is done. Let's go ahead and try to get that workshop up and running to some degree. Uh, so we can... Uh, that's going to be too small for anything useful to be, you know, placed in there. So we can bring it across here. And I don't know where this is going to go, but we can say that for now. And then we can expand in a bit further into the mountain later if we need to. Uh, and then the workshop can also go uh, have our path. Whoops, that was one tile off. Uh, we can have our path right there. And then we'll bring this... Should be okay to go to about here and here. Because none of that's overhead mountain. So that's going to be our workshop. And that should give us an opportunity to get a bunch of shit done. 
Uh, we also do need a place for all this food to go. Uh, that way prisoners can assist with hauling, because right now they are not allowed into here. Obviously, because we don't want them cutting through this. Uh, we don't need that up anymore. So really, we just got to get this uh, cook area set up. And that's fine. Just It's taking a little bit of extra time because people are deciding to be uh, angry. Uh, what are you guys doing? Oops, there we go. I really wish this shit would get done. Uh, what we can do, actually, is we want work. Um, okay, that's prisoners. And we're going to want everyone's allowed to do essentially everything like that. That way we can ensure, it, if there's the ability to get it done, they may as well try. Uh, and then we can also cut the wood that's in here. Uh, so we'll chop. Get all that taken down. That way the prisoners can use it to uh, get other shit done. So you guys should be out being productive, right? Nope, everyone went to sleep. And Leo just keeps working. <laughs> oh, one thing I did screw up, though, is... Uh, did I do bed rest? Okay, bed rest is still two. Um, it probably would be good to keep it like that. High priority, you know, the number one tasks they'll go and do, and then bed rest otherwise. Yeah. And then, what are you up to? You are maintaining... Uh, that's fine. Zook, uh, yeah, Zuko, what do you have to do? Uh, can you finish harvesting all this, please? And we are going to have to bring this in. Um, I could stick a door... Uh, no, we can't allow prisoners into here because they'll also go and grab good meals. And we cannot allow them to eat anything but paste. So, yeah, the fridge is of utmost importance. We also need a door. Uh, so, yeah, we could just do it right there and that should be fine. We're going to have a hard time, well, I was going to say, we're going to have a hard time getting this floor in here, but we're literally in, incapable of getting that floor in there. So we're going to have to move this temporarily. Is this smoking? Yeah. Down to 31% maintenance. Oh, I know why, I know why. Uh, it's because that is a prison labor thing. And that means all of these, that's bad temperature. Is it? Oh, shit. Okay, it's getting pretty cool. So we're going to have to start getting some heaters up and running. So yeah, it's probably not going to be worth trying to get another layer of crops down. Uh, because if it's getting that cold now, by the time that stuff's done, it'll definitely be lost. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just get all this stuff cleaned up, finished up, and ready to go. And Jasmine, what are you up to? You're cleaning some stuff? Uh, everyone else, um, you are just standing. Mr. Spanks, you want to do cooking. Um, can we get you doing anything else at the moment? Uh, you're supposed to be allowed to do construction, quarry, mine, plant, cut, all of it, essentially. And we do have you allowed to do that stuff. So why do you just, why are you both just standing there? You do have the ability to go out and do other stuff. They should, anyway. Maybe they are refusing. Oh, you got a problem with the cannibalism? It seems like a you problem. Yeah, no, they're acting weird. Is it by any chance that they're kind of stuck on these spots? Which they shouldn't be. But I'm not sure why else they would just be standing here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, this also is going to need to get brought in. Just so it doesn't rot. Okay, so we do have an adequate food supply. Uh, we are sitting... Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, so we have... Oh, wow, we still have a bunch of survival meals. That's all fine. Uh, we have... Yeah, that's, that's not a bad food supply. I'm happy with that. All right. And obviously, we do have all the animals in the winter we can get if we start running low. Uh, do we need a roof rule? Yes, we need to change that. So ignore. Uh, actually, we're going to want to build roof area all within here. Uh, and then all that still needs to get mined out and stuff. That needs to be changed to unlocked because prisoners are allowed in there. And then we'll start moving this stuff out. Uh, we're going to need clothing. And we're going to have to do our leathers and stuff over here as well so that they can use them. Uh, so fall has begun. 
Uh, so we can say our clothing production we can place here. And we do want to get that roof up and running before we move any stuff in here. That way we don't have to worry about deterioration. Uh, how is our wood situation? Uh, we're still good. Metal is getting a little bit on the low side. But that's all right, because we can mine up here as soon as we need it. Is this indoors? Okay, so this now is officially sealed off. Um, so that should be fine while we deal with this. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go stockpile. It doesn't need to be big. Actually, it's going to need to be of a reasonable size. Uh, because we have... Oh, we have nomadic shepherds. Huh. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we do need to be able to store all the different types of materials. Although we can make uh, patched leather. Whoops. Yeah, we can make, make patch leather to combine it all. Does patch leather also do fur? That is something I do not know because... Whoops. Because I do not use it. Obviously, it's not a great thing overall. Uh, but it is... No, it is not... Oh, wait. It is furs. Furs, but not wool, it looks like. Okay. Well, either way. Uh, I'm not too worried about doing it just yet. We'll get that moved. And then you guys... Holy animals. Well, it makes sense. Um, it's probably not even worth talking to them. I don't think they're going to have anything that's going to be worth doing. And there's no way we're going to try to make them prisoners. Not yet, anyway. Maybe eventually we'll, uh, you know, kidnap a caravan. The entirety of it. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, can we... Cut down the damn tree. That way we don't have to walk through it constantly. Thank you. Okay, so that is now good. And that needs power. So that's not really an issue because we do have power uh, coming through this area. Uh, so we'll just run that up along this back wall. And then we'll expand it after. And then we're also going to want this to be... The only people that should do it is a prisoner. Uh, we can move this. So that's any stockpile. Uh, let's reinstall that. Because it doesn't really matter where. Actually, we can stockpile our crap over here and put a door back here. So we're going to need another door for easy access. Uh, and then obviously that's going to need to be unlocked. And then we can change up our stockpile. So we want dumping stockpile. Uh, and we can just do that right across here. And we'll clean out some more room for it here. Uh, but that is going to be berserk. Copy. Paste. We don't need that anymore, so we can delete that. Uh, and then, I guess we don't need this anymore either. Because everything's going to be shifted. Okay, so... Uh, Elizen, you are closest. Can you come and... I doubt calming's going to do anything. Uh, Elizen is being attacked after failing to calm. Ah, uh, well... Then we'll just have to beat Mr. Spanx. Please don't kill Mr. Spanx. We could use the cook. We'll see, though. Come on. You bruised my arm. Or Eliza's arm. That is not appropriate. Luckily, it's a minor issue. Uh, capture and then capture, please. Okay, so that's good and dealt with. Oh, yeah, no, this stockpile, um, I didn't set up. So that is going to be critical for... Uh, Ron and Fresh doesn't matter. So what we can say here is, for now, we'll just do... I guess that'd be under manufactured. All of our textiles will go here. And I don't think there's anything else at the moment. Uh, eventually, we'll want mending kits, because they are going to be fixing some stuff up for us. But all that's going to need to get moved. All right, and we're going to want to, you know, strip them down and give them the appropriate clothing once it's ready. So... Who can currently do that? Oh, let's go tailoring. So that is going to be Leo doing that once the doctoring is done. Uh, trade caravan is leaving. Yep, I'm not worried about that. Uh, Eliza, you need... Never mind. I guess you need treatment, but apparently not. Okay. Good stuff. Oh. Why is that being forbidden? It's probably because it's prisoners doing it. It's not a big deal, just kind of irritating. But we're good. We're good. We are still going to want to light this up for efficiency. Um, and we can also move this research bench at some point. Although now we have no one to do research. So 
Uh, we are going to have to figure that out. Who is most capable? Uh, that is Leo, but that's not going to work. Uh, Jasmine, I guess you can do that as a higher priority. Um, so you're going to do... Oh, okay, so you're going to replace Chaos. And then we can have... <sighs> intense pain. If you would stop having a temper tantrum, then you wouldn't be in pain. Right? That, that's a logical thing. It would be. Hey, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to need to do to be able to force people to wear clothing, because that's not something that we can really do at any, you know, easy level. Uh, we can do furniture, and in our bedrooms, we are going to want, uh, since we're making two, we can use a double shelf. And we are going to uh, get that built first so I can set up a rule. And we'll have that here. Uh, so that is going to need to be critical for, oops, critical for, uh, manufactured, no, we want apparel, and that is going to be prison apparel, yep, just the jumpsuit. So the jump shoots, uh, jump suits should go here, and the prisoners, if they are not wearing any clothing, should come and pick that up. Uh, we can also haul urgently. So we're going to want to strip them down, and then as soon as it gets stripped down, uh, obviously take that stuff out of there. Perfect. And now, I can't tell them to put it on, but they should. What's, uh, what's our temperature looking like here? Uh, so this is, where am I looking? Uh, hot and cold. Yeah, it's not super great, but they're not gonna really need to worry too much about that. Oh, we also do need to get our warmth going. And you're getting that down. Okay, so we need a bit of lighting. Uh, and we can also reinstall this, just get this in here, uh, that can just go into space occupied, there we go. Really, Mosquito? And you take down Jasmine? <laughs> okay, what was your issue? Cooked it. It's nutrient paste. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no people in our soil in green. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with you because you're uh, a little bit stronger. Eliza, can you come and uh, try to calm down, please? And that didn't work. Okay. They just have to be difficult. Uh, oh, okay. I thought it was death. Nope, we're good. We're good. All right. So, pain management is apparently going to be an issue because they, uh, well, and the cannibalism issue. Um, well, it's too bad for them because they're going to continue uh, eating. Uh, we can do a strip down here as well. Make sure. Uh, so you're stripped, stripped, and stripped. Okay. So Leo, uh, actually, you know what? Let's get the... You should do that pretty much right away, right? Once the healing is done, that is. And the prison work. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Strip. Oh, Zuko was on his way to do it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so now all clothing is off and we have our prison jumpsuits ready. You guys want to put it on? Oh my god, skunk. You literally are... Oh, it's hypothermia. It's real cold. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll do it. Uh, so we're going to need to get a heater over here. Uh, we're going to need to get a... One heater should work here. We're definitely going to want heaters for ourselves. So we'll get, oh, we don't need that. We need a vent. Uh, and actually, we'll switch that out. So we'll do one in here, and then we'll vent that up. Uh, then we'll get one in here. That doesn't need to be heated or anything. Uh, and then we're going to need a vent here and here. Uh, we can also vent between these two. That shouldn't be that big of an issue until the fire starts. Uh, and Elizin, can you... Okay, this one's probably uh, high priority only because we have people literally dying. Okay, and now that's warm enough. Uh, can we also get that one? That's also kind of high priority. That way we can not have anyone dying on us. Not by, uh, not by freezing to death anyway. Alright. So now we have warmth and we'll get all that done. Uh, we can also do an allow all. That way we can make sure this wood is getting brought in. So that is now good. And if you guys would put on some damn clothing, you would be a little warmer. But they do not seem to give a shit. A, why was there good food on the ground? 
Skunk, what is your issue? That actually might be a long-term issue. Uh, I don't want to not have it. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, you could just do melee. Or you could you guys could just fight each other. One punch will probably work. So the whole cook cannibalism thing. I really wish that they had no ability to know that. Um, I might actually look for a mod to uh, make it so nutrient paste doesn't, I guess, register. Although I'm not sure if I, that's something I can add right now. Uh, but make it so it doesn't register what's in it because it's... I don't feel that they should be able to know that unless they made it. So I might find a way to adjust that. We will see, though. Uh, and we also have... Can you capture Mosquito 2? Thank you. All right. There we go. And all this stuff is now done and good to go. And our workshop is basically done. We just need that last little bit. We're going to want some lights uh, so we can get... Uh, we're going to need power conduits running. Uh, so we're going to want to light up outside a little bit. That way we can see a little bit better. Uh, and then we can also light up one here. We can't do it right now because if they do, it'll cancel the outside one. We'll put one here. Uh, we'll put one right over here and one over here. And that should light things up. So, well, we'll do one over here too. And that should light things up somewhat adequately. All right. And also uh, in here is supposed to be... Can we get this? To, oh, are we out of steel? No, we still have a bit left. Uh, can we get that as a medical bed, please? What are you up to? So you are doing butchering. Where did you get a fox from? Oh, it was probably downed and uh, we just allowed it. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you guys also have no source of recreation. And while I don't particularly care, uh, if we give you a little piece of wood stuck in the ground and it makes it so you're less likely to break, probably worth it, I guess. Uh, so we'll just... There. Have a stick in the ground. Be happy with it. Now, why the hell do they not want to take this? Um, do I have to do that by some chance? What does that say exactly? Uh, so, labor areas where uh, only prisoners can work. No colonists work allowed here. Um, is it possible that there is a new prisoner? No, there is not. Is there a way with these? Um, okay, so what I'm looking for here. Um, I need the clothing allowed information. Equipment? No, because I can't set that pace. We get rid of, oh God, that got a lot smaller. Um, where else? So it obviously wouldn't be there. Would it be needs? No, because that's drug-related stuff for the most part. Or, I guess, just needs-related stuff. Skill? No. Stats? Um, so I'm looking for construction success? No. I don't want carrying. How would I get... It might not actually show up here. So if we go colonist, that's equipment here. So it's not here at all already. Because what I'm looking for is uh, a sign. I'm looking for the current outfit. But I can't do that for prisoners. So I can't tell them what they are and aren't allowed to wear. And they don't seem to give a shit about this. I have had it working before, so I'm not exactly sure what the difference is. On why they refuse to do it now. It was cold, so they should have put it on as, you know, just better than nothing type of deal. Um, so I'll have to look at my prison time lapse and figure out what exactly is going on. Because all I did before was throw these in their bedroom and they put them on. They didn't do it right away, but it was reliable enough where we should have had someone do it by now. Uh, but we can also... Uh, power that up a little bit better uh, we can get that light in as well and we are gonna have to get mining done and we're gonna have to do this in a way that uh, we patch up the hole that way we don't have bugs spawning because we really don't need insects causing us problems you're up grabbing wood is do you got a lot of wood out here uh, no it's you're actually doing new wood so that's fine that's fine well in the meantime let's go ahead and get some mining done uh, so we can just dig out all that and we'll see how much more is actually there because uh, 
screw it. Oh, let's uh, do that. Let's just mine all of it. Yeah, we'll get all that dug out. And then we'll fill it back in. And is that more right there? No, that's sandstone. We do have some right here, though. Uh, and then we do want to... Uh, okay, so we have overhead mountain here. So we're not going to be able to make too much use of the area right here. For our cooking spot. Um, we could have it the inside where the overhead mountain is cold. Which would make it so bugs don't, ha uh, don't have an opportunity to spawn. We are going to have to do something. We could do something like this. But that's going to cut down a little bit of that area. Mad Muffalo. So what I was looking at is basically just having something like this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'm just showing an example. Uh, so I was looking at something like that. And then dig that out. Have, uh, you know, basically a small room for Mr. Spanx. That way he has somewhere to sleep. And it's basically, uh, they'll never come or, like, no one else will be able to come or go. Except for Mr. Spanx and our uh, leaders. But this overhead mountain thing... Uh, it would really suck to lose all of our food to a bug invasion, or infestation, rather. So we might have to make better room. Uh, we could just deal with the bugs if they come. I'm, I just, I don't care about the prisoners that can, are going to be in there. I'm looking at, are we going to lose all of our food to stupid shit? Because that would not be ideal in any way. We could also not store, and well, because we, we could just not store food there and store it somewhere else. But if we're going to do that, we may as well just not worry about that and build a little bit in here instead. Which, you know what, let's just do that. Uh, so we can cancel. We'll play it safe for now until we have a way to remove mountain roof. If I do actually decide to do that. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, actually, we're going to need that. Let's bring that right out to here. To here. And we know that's safe for sure. So we'll bring that down to here. And we'll have a kind of a squiggly room. Uh, so we know that's all going to be safe in there. So we can do just a bit of a corner cut here. So we'll say that's going to be the bedroom. Because we're not going to want that ice cold all the time. Just because it'll cause more problems. And then we have our work area. And that's going to be opened up. Uh, so we'll have the workbench and... A spot to, you know, store food around this. And then that should still work for being separate rooms from here to here. Um, I kind of do want that to be one extra tile. That way we get the workbench in here properly. As three tiles. Well, we could do that. So that'll work. Um, and then we're going to just need some doors. Oh, we don't need this up anymore. So then we'll get the doors. Uh, we only need one here. And then once we get into here, then we could get rid of that one. Because that's not going to be necessary. All right, so that should work. Oh, well, we have a muffalo. <laughs> um, are you going to cause us problems? Probably not. Probably not. Is that a dead bear? No, it's just a lot of blood. Okay. Uh, and then Mr. Spanx is doing that. Not for long. Um, can we get Zuko, since you're here, come out with your assault rifle? Uh, not out, out. Just enough so we can shoot the muffalo so it doesn't cause us issues. Because we do not need a breach in our defenses. If you want to call this defenses. Um, also, do a uh, finish off, please. Alright, well, that is going to be it for today. So we are going to go ahead and get our naming done. That's good. And then just make sure uh, you're consuming. Can you instead... Yeah, before you go and eat, can you hold that, please? And then you can eat. Uh, okay, so not exactly sure about the clothing. We're going to have to figure that one out. Uh, but we do need to name prisoners. So we have Mosquito. Okay, so let's grab our list. Um, so we have Mosquito and Skunk. And Mosquito is male. Skunk is also male. Good, because our list is a lot of males here. Um, and Dr. Shalson, even though I said I am not going to be doing skills, um, do we have doctoring on either of them? Uh, no. So, Dr. Towson could just have whoever. Because he is quote-unquote a doctor. Not an actual doctor. He's just doctoring his uh, medical degree. <laughs> so, we have Dr. Towson, rather. 
so that is good. And then we also have Skunk, who is uh, Alpha Anon. Okay. So, welcome to the colony, Dr. Towson and Alpha. Uh, good luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> You're really going to need it. But other than that, uh, I I'm happy with that progress. We are going to need to get our hands on a bit more wood. Uh, because obviously we're going to need to be keeping that running. Uh, but we're also going to need to get floors in here to try to make it so people aren't breaking all the time. Because it is very unproductive for our prison to have to you know, deal with them having temper tantrums all the time. I don't really care if they do, but more so the lack of product or the detriment to our productivity. We could eventually drug them all up if we have to. They won't know the difference. But either way, that is going to be it for today. So thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. See ya.